Captain, I'm detecting 10 Muchi warships materializing 100 kilometers off the starboard bow and powering up weapons. I have the perfect plan, Jock. We let them board us so I can seduce the leader's mother, wife, sister, and daughter and defeat him in a duel to the death, ensuring my credibility as the romantic hero and good guy that everyone loves. We will then eBay the enemy ships and live out the rest of our lives in luxury. Um, Flim. I calculate the chance of that plan working is equal to the chance that the legendary Paris Hilton, inventor of plastic and Splenda, is living in the basement of this starship, eating scraps and taking the photon torpedoes for joy rides when we are all sleeping. Okay new plan. Fruit Loop, get us out of here. Use the superchargers. Captain, the check engine light is on again. Flim. If we utilize the superchargers, our odds of not exploding are equal to the chance of Michael Jackson, inventor of zombies and dancing, rising from the grave, to replace this ship's cheesy robotic voice. So, we do use the superchargers. No, Flim. I'm saying we will explode like the mythical Statue of Liberty exploded when George Bush flew a plane into it in order to scare the American people into inventing dubstep music. Captain, there are signs of a wormhole in range. Fruit Loop, get us into that wormhole. Use second gear. Aye, aye, Captain. We have entered the wormhole. We seem to be traveling in time. Backward. This looks like 21st century America. Do you see the images, Flim? I see them. Jock. Why do they have only three dimensions and no smell? It was a display technology developed to save energy. They called it LED Zeppelin. These designs were ahead of their time. What was the purpose of these LED signs? I just downloaded a hollow about this. The sign displayed a symbol or electronic message or logo to convey a desire to mate or be consumed. People wore these signs like we wear our stylish Federation uniforms. I recall this consumerism from my studies of ancient Earth cultures. Some popular groups, such as National Awning and Sign, were known to design many of these symbols using highly efficient materials so the signs were comfortable and lightweight. Didn't they also create head coverings called awning and canopy for sun protection and rain protection? They did. They covered their heads with these awnings and canopies. Barbaric. I want to visit this national awning and sign entity and get canopies for all of us, in every color. Jock, Google their location fruit loop take us there.